Okay, Mr. Wallace. My pal. Thank you. Thank you for confusing me to death. I really liked this book until I couldn't understand it at all. It got totally confusing in the end. Okay? The whole, but then, all I was holding was the blanket because my father had jumped into the river. And that's when I discovered that my father hadn't been dying at all. He was changing, transforming himself into something new and different to carry his life forward in. All this time, my father was becoming a fish. I saw him dart this way and that, a silvery, brilliant, shining life, and disappearing into the darkness of the deep water where the fish go, and I haven't seen him since. That really, really confused me. My dad told me it was symbolism, but I don't really see how at all. And the title, Big Fish. Okay, the definition of big fish? Someone who is accomplished, knows where they are going and what they want in life. I think that that worked pretty well for Mr. Edward Bloom because he seems like he was a pretty accomplished man and knew what he was doing in life. But I was very confused, very confused at the end how he actually turned into a legit fish. What? Uh, like, really? Did he like die in the water or like was that whole last thing like not even real? Like, I'm really confused. And then, all my notes. Okay, the story of Mr. and Mrs. Bloom. This is, it's pretty cute. William's mom and dad. Okay, I am very confused at the fact that he's in love with Sancha and he marries her. But then later in the book, you wrote that he falls in love, falls in love with a girl in Spectre. And Spectre, does he buy Spectre? Like, buy the town? Or how do you buy a town? I didn't get how he fell in love with Jenny. He's in love with two women? Was this before he had William? After he had William? Is he a player? I don't know. And what happened to Jenny? You never described what happened to her. She sits out the window. She like, died out the window? She just stares out the window and is like, hey, just scares people with her weird yellow eyes glowing? Like, that confused me a lot. I actually wrote, wait, what just happened on a sticky note at the end of the book? Turned into a fish or what? Why are there so many ways that he dies? Okay, one thing I actually kind of liked about the book was all the jokes, but overall I'm really confused. And then he had a dream about how he died. He didn't actually die that way. Did he, did he even die at all? It says that everybody's coming to Edward Bloom's death, that he, like whose lives he touched, and there's a buffet going on in their backyard, and he's dying. And then he just magically stands up and is fine. Everybody's like, oh, look, he's doing great. You're taking care of him. Good job. And was Edward scared of William? Or was the father scared of the son? Shouldn't it be vice versa? The whole beginning of the book, I really liked. I liked all of the great stories talking about how Edward Bloom is such a great man and how Edward Bloom is doing all these things and how he saves the woman and how he's this hero and he's this person that everybody wants to become. But then at the end, it, it all just kind of, like it all just kind of crumbled and then it kind of ruined the whole book. I only kind of understood how he got so sick to like the point of death. It says, The pool itself began to deteriorate. No one took care of it after a while. We were too immobilized with the contemplation of, of the end of my father. Nobody cleaned it out or added the special chemicals that kept the water blue and algae began to grow on the walls, turning it a deep, thick green. But dad kept swimming in it until the end. So he's not dead yet. He can't be dying otherwise he wouldn't go swimming in a pool. Even when it began to look more like a pond than a pool, he kept swimming. One day, I went out to check on him. I could have sworn I saw a fish, a smallmouth bass, I thought. Break the surface for a fly. I was sure of it. Dad, I said, did you see that? He had paused mid-stroke and was floating on top of the water. Did you see that fish, Dad? But then I laughed because I looked at my father, teller of jokes, eternal comic, and saw that he looked funny. That's exactly what I thought as I looked at him. I thought, He's, he looks funny. And sure enough, he hadn't paused mid-stroke at all. He had passed out and his lungs filled with water. I pulled him out of the pool and called for an ambulance. I pushed on his stomach and the water poured from his mouth as, as from a spigot. I waited for him to open an eye and weak, start laughing, turning this real life event into something that wasn't, into something truly, aw truly awful and funny, something to look back on and laugh about. I held his hand and waited. I waited a long time. So did his father die then and there? Or is that how his father got to his point of being on a deathbed? Like. Anyway, 
This book, Big Fish, by Daniel Wallace, had potential to be good, but the ending kind of ruined it for me. So, I don't know. I guess I would recommend this book, but my parents said it was a good movie. So, maybe you just have to be a little older to understand the whole... Ooh, I don't know. But, not my favorite book. Thanks for watching!